Are you ready? Check your reality. The comments and opinions of this program may be considered offensive. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Uncommon Sense. I'm your host, Butch, and I'll be narrating today. And we'll be joined in a general discussion with all of our hosts. We have Forrest in the studio. We also have Billy over on the side, uh, looking dapper as ever. And let us begin. Step number eight. Boycott and boycott, big time. Patriots should be abandoning Google, Facebook, Twitter, etc. for more honest platforms. They should also enthusiastically support efforts by DeSantis and heavy fine big tech operators who, quote, cancel patriots. If 25 or 30 free states did the same, big tech would soon be little tech. Patriots need to organize nationwide boycotts of unpatriotic companies and boycotts for loyal American companies like MyPillow and Goya Foods. Already, local groups are drawing up lists of, quote, unfriendly local companies and friendly alternatives so patriots can stop supporting their opponents and spend more with their fellow MAGA supporters. It would also be smart to sequentially target vulnerable and patriotic companies. Imagine if 80 million MAGA patriots resolved to begin a nationwide boycott of one such company starting now. The boycott would go on indefinitely until the target company was broke, or it apologized for canceling patriots. If applicable, every MAGA family could simultaneously commit to buying at least one of the canceled person's products this year. On April 1st, another disloyal company could be targeted, then another on May 1st, another on June 1st, etc. After two or three companies had collapsed or apologized, we would see, soon see large companies start to back away from the cancel culture. Patriots have spending power in this country, people. We need to starve our enemies and feed our friends. Again, patriots need to build a nation within our nation. It should be also a given that every U.S. patriot boycotts all communist Chinese goods wherever possible. Check those labels. Buying Chinese communist products in 2021 is like buying Nazi products in 1939. It's immoral and it's suicidal. The Chinese Communist Party just crippled the U.S. economy with the CCP virus. Then, pro-China communists instigated black, uh, mass Black Lives Matter rioting. Then, the same people worked to influence the 2020 election. It's about time Americans stop funding their number one enemy, the CCP. And that was Trevor Loudon's uh, article on Step 9. And let's see what Billy has to say about uh, or his thoughts on this. <laughs> I believe in you. Okay, okay so boycotting and boycotting. That's what I've been doing actually for a long time, but more so lately and actually really checking literally everything I'm buying. Made. Right. Yes. I've been paying attention to that kind of stuff. So. Even more than I used to. Oh yeah. I know something that I've been double checking on is like more of what my data is getting used for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This would be a perfect section for a VPN. But anyway. Um, <laughs> because <laughs> Like he said, we need to stop funding a lot of those big um, social media networks, and their businesses are information. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure everybody's come to terms with that. If they yeah. haven't, I hope they get up to speed soon, because that that boat is starting to pick up. Yes, it pays. Big you time. don't want to get left behind because if you do, you're going to be totally out of the loop on people using your information to make money mm -hmm. against you. Right. Well, or yep. from you. Not yeah. really against yeah. you. Well, it depends on how you look at it. You want to be like paranoid. Right. And I shut it. 
I think that Facebook is run by reptilioids like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, Sorry, you're not. Sorry, eyes are so fucking big, though. This I mean, to be fair, so he does look like a lizard of some sort. He does. Come on, we've, seen, we've all seen, seen I've seen that. digital. Uh, I've the seen, Amazing Spider-Man? That was probably the best Spider-Man movie to me. Yeah. I've seen, like, digitally rendered pictures of Zuckerberg, and it looks more human than an actual, like, picture of Zuckerberg. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Have you seen, like, no, how perfectly shaped his hair is? It looks like somebody 3D printed it, like, onto his head. And, mm -hmm. like, it was, like, placed there, like, in a Darth Vader chamber. It's wow. weird. <laughs> it's freaking weird, dude. Oh, it is weird. See, this is why he hates board people. He's talking about shit. <laughs> well, the commoners have a voice, too. Mine's loud, too. <laughs> that he looks like a lizard person and does lizard people stuff. Like selling our personal information to his or lizard people overlords. To other lizard people. So that way they can make their lizard people money. That's why there's pyramids all over our money. Birds are like their favorite food. That's why they're all over the place. Birds and pyramids. A couple Caw, of favorite things. So, <laughs> just kidding. So, birds being one of the favorite foods, how can you explain the recent uh, death of uh, uh, millions of birds across the eastern seaboard? So that is a mystery. That is mysterious. Probably because of fucking those. Probably because it came from Mars. Oh, from you Venus. know, honestly, with how many like factories and chemical plants are actually over that in that area, I would not be surprised if it had something to do with some sort of chemical leak. Mm -hmm. uh, reptilioids aside, though, though the boycott and boycotting. I don't know. Billy. Butch, do you have any intrinsic wisdom well, to bestow upon us and uh, the listeners? Are you ready I to move thy jaw? I am ready to move. <laughs> and your mother Onward smells the edible better. George! <laughs> All right. No, my insight on it. Okay. My <laughs> insight on it is that he, what he said is correct. We do have the buying power. We do, though. Because we are the hardworking Americans. Those are the patriots. Those are the ones that believe you work hard, you gain mm -hmm. the rewards. They and were all the American dream. Well, not yeah, like, you, you, you followed that American dream. Have you guys seen that political cartoon? It used to float around a lot. It's been gone for some time. We'll have to pull it up. Okay. Um, it shows an official, just an official figure, standing at a podium talking on a microphone. Uh -huh. But he's standing on a board that's overhanging on a cliff. Meanwhile, all the people are standing on the board supporting him. Right. Essentially uh -huh. saying, you know, if we just step off of their BS, they'll fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sometimes so the best yeah. way to, like, fight back from, like, against, like, let's say a social network that you don't think is is uh, allowing you to have your, your, uh, your First Amendment utilized appropriately, well, then just don't use it. Mm -hmm. Right. Sometimes the best way is to to kind of revolt is to just not participate. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. Yep. Period. Next. End of story. End of story. <laughs> so, boycotting. I've been doing that. I've been supporting local businesses such as it Casey's Restaurant. Opens up more opportunity to, <gasps> for mom and pop shots only. Shops for always have mom and pops. the best burgers. Dude, I don't care do. what you say or where you're from. Mom and pop shops always have, have the, the best, best burgers. burgers and biscuits and gravy and biscuits and gravy. So if like no, you're that. biscuits and gravy and burgers or biscuits and burgers or whatever you're into shakes shakes. That's another the good pie. one. Oh, always yeah. and they the don't pies. have shakes anymore shakes. or oh. ice cream. They only have vanilla ice cream now. Oh, geez. because when all that stupid crap happened, right? And they first. When it first yeah. happened, and they did shut down for a while, idiotic people. Yes, they ended up uh, losing out, losing a ton of ice cream. Oh yeah, I imagine. Uh, yeah. So they only have vanilla now because they lost a lot of money. So all these local businesses that have lost money, I mean, all over the country, if we support them instead of. Your, your big box stores. If like, you can. I haven't supported Walmart in a long time. It can be really time. tricky, though. 
It, it can be very tricky. Oh, See, yeah. we're, tricky. we're talking to you guys from one of the very few states that have a governor that is... <sighs> put us up back into mask mandates. Junk like that. So... We're the only ones. Are we yeah. the only ones? The only ones. Can't. As far as I know. No, well, California. Oh, California. There was like there was like four or five states. I just can't mm. remember all of them right now. I think we're in the first one. Washington and New York. It was California, Washington, Oregon. Um, was it Indiana? No. That's a couple more on the East Coast, Central. There he is. So anyway, back to the point though, what he was saying, it, it, and or what we were saying is that we, it is very tricky. Yeah, but. It can be done, and here lately I've noticed more of local businesses that have specifically um, American-made stuff. Yes. Yeah, I've noticed that too. But there's and kind of an uptick in it. I've well, yes. there's a, a few different reasons for that. For one thing, our relations with China is absolute crap right now. Oh yeah. It is. It's not a good spot. And I yeah. find it hilarious when people call it West Taiwan. Because yeah. <laughs> that really just <laughs> spills freaking Pooh Bear's honey over there, man. Yes. You know if you take Xi Jinping and Pooh Bear, you get pooping. 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 Yeah. <laughs> pooping. Pooping. Yeah. That sounds like uh, not just the gray mustard or... The CCP reason. That sounds like some really dark brown pooping. mustard type <laughs> pooping. <laughs> So is math. <laughs> math. Math is racist? Is it because well, it's Middle Eastern? You know, I can't believe no, that I mean, Oregon you know, Governor Kate Brown, Brown just I mean, recently passed a bill oh no. that dropped the requirements for reading, right. writing, and, and math. You do, not, no, you do no longer have to be proficient in those yeah. because it is discriminatory and racist. So what? they're really saying is that if you're of color you're too stupid to understand this yeah what in and the hell what kind of bass backwards yeah, backwards bassness is that uh, i mean <laughs> were we just saying something about a dystopia what oh yeah us we living are in a dystopia. living in a dystopia. Yeah, we're living in a dystopia, especially since a dystopian the, idiocracy. A dystopia. It is a dystopian idiocracy, mm -hmm. especially since the, especially since we see, especially in the, the woke culture, right? Where woke, woke. woke. Huh? Their hypocrisy is. Horrendous. They woke up and they are still at their parents' house. That's what woke means. Many of them are too, and now they're getting mad at their parents that they didn't get yes, the right gender. <laughs> it's You've always suppressed my cheesy. life. I've my always wanted to be a unicorn. <laughs> That's Name Gigi. No, actually, I That's think you, I used you to guys would be surprised <laughs> how much of the woke, woke culture is in like the like forty yes, to sister. to thirty range. You guys would be surprised how much of like the the world culture is in the twenty to thirty range, right? Oh, and on up to like into like the forties and fifties. Dude, I saw it like manifest right in front of me. Oh yes. Yeah. You know certain people that we know. Uh, oh yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And it's not a lot of people that are living at their parents' houses. No, not a lot of them. But uh, no, no. Some... There is a lot of them on TikTok though, and it's funny. Oh yes. <laughs> is they. But they, they broadcast their heartbreak between them and their parents. Oh, yeah. yeah. My daughter, she didn't call me the right gender. Yeah. Which I made up this morning. I, I've recently come across something similar uh, where a child of a relation to me uh, disobeyed his mother. So his mother uh, yep. took some certain items from him, which are not needs, they're not ne necessities. They are luxury items. More akin to contraband. All right. And the reason she did this is because she caught them in the act. 
of doing something that was totally prohibited. And they knew this. They knew this. But they did it anyway. Mm-hmm. So. She's teaching them self-accountability. That's right. Good you are responsible for your own actions. And I applaud her. The children, however, so... thinks that she is being such a fascist and unreasonable person. Yes. Well, look what's gotten into the school systems. Is mm -hmm. it the kids' fault or is it the school system? I think it's yep. the indoctrination system. I can't call it the school system anymore. The school it's system not, it, it is where you were, went system. to learn. It hasn't been for a long time. There, no, it hasn't. There is still places where you can get a good education in the yes. world, but they're few and far between. Yes. Right. Correct. I agree with that 100%. I, mean, I graduated in 2004, and I hated the school system then. Class of 86 here. I'm like, I know. You graduated the same year I was born. <laughs> 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 you old man, you. Yep. But I graduated in 2013, 2013. You baby, you. But I graduated. Oh, I'm the middle child now. <laughs> <laughs> Got my bros up in here. I'm the middle child. I'm hoping he's the middle child. Why are you older than Yeah, but we got my sister. Right, yeah. Alright, yeah. They talk like Valley Girls. They're funny. That's what you used to call it? Yeah, Valley Girls. Oh my God, for oh sure. Oh my God, that came. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if that was Valley Girl or Rap God. No. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the listen. You can now support Uncommon Sense on Anchor.fm. From Anchor, you can link to your favorite listening app, or listen right from Anchor.fm. Anchor allows us to be available on five platforms as well as YouTube. The direct links of those platforms are also in the description below. Hehehe! <laughs> Damn it, Billy! Give me back my liquor! <laughs>